Hey, Dr. John Owings here from the Kilted Chiropractor. I want you to watch my videos, but before you watch my videos, you gotta subscribe to my channel and you gotta like my videos. Because if you don't, I'm coming for you. In October, we're having fun. We're giving away these cool t-shirts. Do you want one? Here's how you play. You have to leave comments on my videos, nice comments. Tell us what you like, tell us what you like to see. We're gonna choose one person from all the comments, from every video we drop, and we're sending you a t-shirt. It looks like this. We'll see you on channel. The shirt's yours, sword's mine. Bye. Here we go, let's let it roll. <laughs> okay, today we're here with Audra, and this is actually her first visit. So, tell me what's happening with you. Mm, I just have really bad back problems. Um, I've always had really bad posture. I always slouch and stuff, and I can I can feel it when I when I kind of stand back or you know sit okay. back up or whatever. It's it feels better. I'm a lot more mindful of it, but I somehow I mean. So when you have a little back, tell me. I mean, how old are you right now? Eighteen. So you're nineteen. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. So how long have you had the back for? I mean, this is when you're really young or when you're um, I mean, just the last couple of years. What's been going on with it? More in the last couple of years. Last couple of years? You know, yeah. Exactly. Any sports activities that cause some of this? Um, maybe cheer. I, yeah. I did um I did cheer from sixth grade to tenth grade and mm -hmm. I I did soccer but I don't really know if that really Any yeah. knee ankle problems with soccer? That's what I can Um use. ankle. Ankle? Yeah. Okay. We can look at that too. You're not actively in sports right now. I think during the talk you're done with sports going to college, I think. Is that what you told me early yesterday? Yeah, I'm not doing sports. Well, I might. I might right. do sports. In I don't know. If I go to Maranatha, I could do soccer, but okay. I'm not sure. All right. So on a scale of 1 to 10, when 10 is the worst and 0 is pain-free, where would you put your day-to-day -day pain level? Mm, I think I'm kind of used to it at this point because it's been so long. Oh, but, so guess. maybe it's a little bit low, a more low number just because I'm used to it for so long. Okay. I don't know, maybe like right in the middle, I don't know, five, four, five, five. four. Okay. So not, not, not a ton, but I, like I said, I think I might be used sure. to it, I don't know. Is there anything in activities of daily living that drive the pain higher? Or does it kind of just always float there? Or anything make it really bad? Mm, I feel like at the end of, I don't know, at the end of the day, like when, I, when I'm sleeping, a lot of times I feel a lot more. Um, I don't know, I'm definitely like a stomach sleeper. I sleep on my stomach. Uh -oh. so I, I don't think that's a good thing. No. You get any yeah. neck pain from that? Because a lot of people say they have neck pain. So you get anything like that? Yeah. So sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. How about headaches? I, yeah, I have bad headaches. Okay. Sometimes. How often do you get headaches? Um, I, don't ha I don't get them as much anymore. Okay. Um, but I used to get them a lot more frequently. And my sister has always had really bad migraines too. Mm -hmm. so. But you don't have a history of migraines? Or you do? No, I, no. Don't, I don't think so. Just headaches. It's just headaches, yeah. yeah I don't, it's not too bad. But you're going into your first year of college this year, right? So well, Degree-wise, second. But okay, yeah. yeah. But we're not studying right now, and then that's going to ramp up. And yeah. Do you notice that you get more headaches during the school sessions? Yeah, Um. I I know like freshman year when I took my first AP class, I, um, I had mm. really bad headaches, and then I even had chest pain at one point. And I mm -hmm. thought I had like a heart problem, and I went to the doctors, and they were like, "No, that's just your th your stress. You're just super stressed about this." I'm like, oh, wow. okay. All right, no, that's important to know. You're just carrying the stress in your body. Yeah. Studying hard, wanting to do a good job. I'm assuming, right, when you're in school. Yeah. Trying to. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. I understand. Um, does the pain ever wake you up at night, or are you able to sleep and rest? Mm, not that I really noticed. I don't usually wake up in the middle of the night. Okay. Um, like for at least from pain wise, I never right. really wake up. Just day to day, you can be there. And you're noticing it. Yeah, maybe just more lingering and okay. uncomfortability. All right. Well, then what we're gonna do the next phase here is we'll just assess, see what's going on, get a feel for it, get our first adjustment in, and kind of move through the process and get your first adjustment in. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I heard he was just living at his house in Spring Lake. Oh, he'll be here in a few minutes. Then. Okay. All right. So let's start from the top. 
And I'm just going to kind of feel the muscles in here. First, we're going to start with these muscles. Scalenes, sit on the base of the neck. Any tenderness in here? Um, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Here's the upper traps. How about if I grab those? Any tenderness in here? I can just tell it's super tight. Like super it, tight? It kinda, I can right. definitely feel. Turning it to the right here. I'm just going to kind of palpate through here. Let me know if I hit any tenderness spots. Nothing too bad? Um, a little bit? It all is pretty consistent. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right there. there. Okay, about the mid neck area on this side here. Right. When you get headaches, do your eyes hurt? Mm, or not is, usually. Is it in the back of the head, or do you feel it coming around the front, top of the head? Um, I think in the more the front. More the front. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's right. more over all around. Then. I'm gonna feel some of these muscles through here. I'm looking for trigger points. Oh, there's one. Is that tender up in there? A little bit. A little bit. About through here. Feels okay. Right, I think right at the up right there. Right through here. All right. Okay. Let's go here. I'm going to pull the shirt here. When you have low back pain, are you feeling it down here, up in here? Mm. Where do you feel most of it? Like when I, I know when I slouch, I can definitely feel it like right in here. Right up in this area. Yeah. All right. And tenderness when I just, oh wow, I can feel that one. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I got the sacrum really rotated right here. Yes, I got it. All right, I'm gonna go a little lower. All right, that's good. I'm gonna have you swing around and face me over here. Let's just see kind of how weak. So we're gonna do some muscle testing, basic nerve roots. Everything when we test muscle groups should be really strong. I'm looking for strength, power, and tone. Okay. So if it's there, you're going to know it. If it's not, it's going to go weak. So as we work through, I'm going to fix stuff. One, one thing I guarantee to every new patient, any patient in the clinic, when we assess, you should know it's weak. And when we're done, you should see and be able to measure the strength and tone changes in your body. You should leave knowing that you're stronger than you walked in. Yeah. Make sense? So I'm going to explain that to you. So let's start with just the basic. We're going to do C5 nerve root. I'm going to take the arm. You're going to hold it right here. Do not let me push the arm down. Hold tight for me. And I'm not even going to try. There's the weakness. <laughs> Let's go over here. Hold tight for me. Here's C5 on this side. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we, if we had perfect posture and the biomechanics was working correctly. So I'm going to artificially open the nerve roots by having you tilt your head way back, look up, hold it there, hold tight for me, and look what happens. Wow. See how strong you are? Now I'm going to bring you back to what your posture is doing to your body. Hold tight for me. And there's the shut off. So that's the stress on the spine that you're feeling as it shuts the reflexes off. Now clearly you don't want to walk around all day looking at the sky to make everything work correctly. So we have to fix it. So you feel the differences though? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to C6, which is your biceps. You're going to hold the arm here. I'm going to push straight down. Don't let me push the arm down. Pretty weak there. Just over here. Hold tight for me. So these weaknesses in posture can create neck pain, or back pain, headaches. Let's do the triceps. Bring the arm back up here. Now we're going to do a tricep extension. So bring the arm down, bring it to midline. You're going to push up like that and push as hard as you can against my hand here. Let's go ahead and push. Now I'm going to push down and I can get it down. Let's try this over here. Push as hard as you can. And Whoa, that's really weak. Try it again. Hard. Push as hard as you can against my hand here. And there's the weakness. Okay. So those are all nerves that we want to fix. Now we're going to go down to the lower back. So we're going to start here. Bring the foot in this way. Push it up. Hold it right there for me. Don't let me push it down. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> here we get there. Okay. See those? Yeah. Let's bring the leg up here. Externally rotate this a little. Hold tight for me. Bring that one down. Hold tight for me. And get that one down. We're going to do the feet, one of the simple ones. Toes to the air. I'm going to stabilize. I'm going to push down. Don't let me. See how it just quits? Hold tight. So our goal is to make all these stronger. Mm -hmm. Make sense? That's it. Okay, so let's take a look here. I just want to first visit. I'm just going to just loosen you up a little bit. I want to get some of the knots out of this neck, shoulders. 
lower back and clear stuff up. So let's hop on our back over here for me. Wait, land? Yep, we're planning back. You got some big knots in here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just loosen you up. I'm going to do a little bit of muscle work here. Just a tiny bit on this neck, just to loosen this up. You got some stuff in here. If anything becomes uncomfortable, just let me know. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just relaxing the muscles a little bit, just so that I can get this neck. And all the stuff that we use here is water soluble. So you feel it as a like a little like oil, but it's all water-based stuff. So feel that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that muscle face down in a few minutes. Let's just see if the body will let go of some stuff here. Here we go. Let's let it roll. <laughs> it like whoa. it like was like whoa but it was cool good deal let me clear these over here okay a little breath for me all out how was that <laughs> it like scared me but it's good well, this is your first time yeah so you gotta get used to it all right not bad at all All right, now we're gonna do some lower back. Right now, like I said, this first one is just, I'm just loosening this stuff up. We're gonna get into the details in a few minutes. Okay. I want you to lay on your side and face me over here. Just like that. I'm gonna take the top leg, bend it in. And then the side goes here. Just like that. Now I know you said you get a lot of stuff up here, a little stuck right there. All right, here we go. Take a little breath for me. All the way out. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the other side. You move really well. Like it, you're saying, like it's pretty easy to. Oh yeah, you move really good. I just think what you're seeing is the the problems you're having is the fact that you're a student. You're stress. sitting all day, you know, you're just doing your student stuff, and then you're getting to college here soon, and stress, and you know, you're feeling it. Okay, there you go. Come you back for me. Just rest for a second. We definitely got some stuff to work on. All right. So what I'm going to have you do, because the neck and shoulders are tight, I'm going to do some muscle work. Now what I'm going to do here is just start working this back. I know you have some postural problems to here. So let's. See what we can fix here. You got some stuff right there. There's a nice little muscle one. Yeah, I felt that. You feel that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a knot. We'll work on that one. I'm going to clear this area out first and then we're going to get some soft tissue. Take a little breath for me. All the way out. How was that? Good. Another little breath for me. All the way out. There's one right there. Though. All right, I'm going to start some muscle work on you. Just rest your body. I know we had some stuff here to work on. Any turners through here? Um, Not too bad. 
If anything becomes too tender, just let me know, okay? Because I'm going to start. There's one right there I'm going to work on. What are you going to study in school again? Nursing. Nursing? Mm -hmm. We need a lot of nurses, I'll tell you that, huh? Yeah. I think I can fill some in there. Right in here? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's one right here. Now your back will get really red when I'm doing this, okay? Okay. There's a knot right there. So what I'm doing is just scraping, trying to get the fibers to break free and loosen up. I'm going to have you take this arm, put it back behind your back just a little bit, just like that. We're going to open this muscle right through here. Not too bad. Does that feel better there? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Good. Okay, let that arm rest back. Bring the same one with the other arm back behind your back, just like that. You can set that other way. Not too bad. Most of the stuff is right here. I'm going to scrape these a little more. Are you feeling any more trigger points in there? Mm, not really. Feels pretty decent. Right there's a little. I still quite rid of some more I'm also right there. How's it feel right there? It's pretty good. Good. Are we here? Any calf pain? Um, not really. Let's check this one. Now you said you hurt your ankle before, though. Um. Hmm. I haven't really. I've never. I don't think I've ever really injured it, but. How's that feel right there? I can feel. I can feel a little bit. Of stuff. All right. I'm gonna do a little work right there. Your feet are hurt? Mm, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Which means they do bother you at times. Sometimes, yeah. Alright, I'm going to work a little bit on that calf muscle in there. And then a little bit on the feet, and then I'll clean it, and then I'll do some more adjusting. So, uh, Sometimes these calves can get really tight. And we'll get a lot of pain in the popliteus muscle right in there. Is that tender at all? Mm hmm Yeah, you get a little bit right in there. It's a small muscle, I don't know what we're doing here. What's that right there?
How's that feeling? Not too bad? Yeah. You're gonna go home and take a nap when I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just gonna scrape the fascia on the bottom of the feet. You're jumping on me. <laughs> My feet are too close. <laughs> it's okay. Right there. How's that feel right there? Is that okay? Tightness in there, but palpating. There it is. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Feel that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Our little, our feet get a lot of abuse, you know. You take them for granted until you can't walk and you get plantar fasciitis in there and you're limping around all over the place. Mm -hmm. it happens frequently. Okay. Right there's one. I'm gonna roll for this way just a little. Is that tender? A little bit. The, yeah, there it is right there. I can feel the knots as I roll over here. Much better there. Alright, I'm going to clean the skin here. And then we'll get on to the next phase of adjusting here. Feels pretty decent. Okay. Let me clean all this real quick. This is going to be cold. <laughs> I did a basic adjustment. We did some soft tissue work. Now we're going to go back in and we're going to fine tune what needs to be fixed. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go back and see if anything let go the first time. So hold your arm here and hold tight for me. Still a little weak there. Hold tight from here. C5 is still weak even with the first adjustment. We're going to go back into triceps, so you're going to push up and do a tricep extension, so pull, hold tight for me, and I can get that down. So we're going to start working on this. Hold tight for me. Yep, still there. Okay, let's go on our back. We're going to do our traction adjustments. Our goal, our, our focus is to make all this strong and healthy. So we're going to start with C5 and C6. So Sarah, I'm going to have you hold these for me. Take a deep breath, all the way out. There we go, that move. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have you do it, drop down to C7, T1. Deep breath for me, all the way out. There we go. All right, go ahead and sit up for me. Face the blue wall. Let's see if they lock in. Turn your arm up, hold tight for me. What do you feel? A lot better. Hold tight. See the muscle? See the changes mm -hmm. in that? Let's do the triceps here. Bring the arm back. Push as hard as you can. That one's holding. Push. One more time. Still a little bit more there. I'm going to jump down and check something else. Make a circle with your fingers. Tip tip. Hold tight. I can get that one apart. Do this one. Pinky. No, no. <laughs> Hold tight. No, that's really weak. Yeah. Let's do this one over here. Pinky, pinky. Yeah. Okay. Hold tight. We're going to have to do those. Hold tight. Mm -hmm. All right. On your back for me one more time.
I'm going to have you hold C7, T1, both sides, way down low. Take a deep breath in, all the way out. That move. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm going to try that again. All the way out. Oh, <laughs> She's taking a nap. Let's go back to triceps on this one. Bring it down. Push as hard as you can. Better. Pinky thumb. Mm, right. That's already getting stronger. Tip to here. Yeah, that's already. That's a lot better. You're doing the side too. Right? Nope, on your back. I'm gonna do your lower back now. We're gonna work on those. So now I'm gonna do some muscle testing. Hold the arm right here. I'm gonna push down. So I'm gonna teach you a couple things. Hold tight. Here's your L1. Is it weak on this side or is it weak on this side? So uh, I'm just muscle testing to see where it is. But now I'm going to show you the no root test. So I'm going to take the arm like here. Let your head rest. I'm going to push here. Don't let me. Hold tight. You see how strong that one is? The body said it wants to be corrected over here. So I'm going to check this on this side. Here's the other one on this side. Hold tight. And I can pull it back. So would you hold L1 for me? So now we're going to block that. I'm going to set that joint back in place. A little bit different way. Let the body relax here. Let me have a leg. Deep breath in. All the way out. <laughs> Do you feel the move? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So now let's go back. Hold tight for me. Here's your L1. Nice and strong, just on the kinesiology test. Let's go do the classic nerve root test. Hold tight. It doesn't move. So you can feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one. Bend the knee in. You're going to hold the leg right there. Hold tight. I'm going to push in. There's your L3. Hold tight. Strong there. So I'm going to just default right to that joint right there. You want to hold that one for me? Okay, now I'm going to have that leg. Deep breath in. Hold it out. I'm moving. <laughs> me. Hold tight. And there's the change. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's drop down the feet. Take this foot, push it towards your head. Hold the foot right there and hold tight. Oh, well, that one's strong. Soccer. Sorry. Soccer. Hold tight. And try again. See how that's collapsing? Yeah. Sarah, I'm going to hold right there. I can see why I was always a righty in center. <laughs> so let's set that one in, let it relax. I'm going to block it, deep breath in, all the way up. Let's go back and check it. Hold. Doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Put it stand up. So now what I want you to do is we spend our life, yep, we're going to walk. We spend our life moving, so I'm going to have you walk to the wall over there and walk back and sit down again. So just go ahead and walk. We just gotta put you to gravity and then swing on back. Cause I want your body to compensate a little bit. I wanna see what it does. Go ahead and sit. We'll do a quick scan and a few of these nerve roots up here again. Hold tight for me. Does it stay locked in? Does it stay locked in? <coughs> Good. Push yeah. the knee up. I think somebody did. The road. Hold tight. Now it's staying. Hold tight. Much better. Now I'm going to stress your body a little bit more. And what we're going to do is, this is kind of checking you in the neutral. And now I'm going to have you look down towards the floor and we're going to check it again. So I'm going to pull on your spinal cord. So look down. Now hold tight. And it's staying. Hold again. Not bad. Hold tight. That's staying. I'm just going to throw in the triceps here. Push as hard as you can. That's staying. So by looking down, you're traction out that spinal cord, hold tight. And under stress, it's staying. That's a good sign. Uh, on your back one more time. I'm gonna double check these real quick. Bring your arm back up, hold tight. Go one, go two, go three, four, five, just take your hips. And those are really strong too. All right, let me do one more thing real quick. We're gonna do your feet real fast. So I wanna go ahead and just adjust all that stuff. So let's adjust the feet. I'm 
Now we'll move. I think you have soccer toes. <laughs> Get some stuff here. Watch. Right. So small. Flip. Take a deep breath in. Here we go. Here it went. Any elbow issues? Mm. I don't know if I'd call it an issue, but I don't know, sometimes when I like, well, I guess I feel like a sharp. Mm. We'll work on those. This is just your first visit, so we'll work on other things as we go along. Alright. Well, I think we covered a lot. Mm. Anything else going on that I didn't work on? Did you feel? Or? I don't think so. How do you feel right now? Pretty good. Pretty good? Awesome. Well, it's time to go play. <laughs> All right, well, have a good day. <laughs> Let's get